Happy Women's History Month. I want to uh, introduce Lieutenant Colonel Bree Fram, uh, who I'm pleased to be joined with this afternoon. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Fram is um, currently serving as an astronautical engineer uh, here at the Pentagon, uh, working space acquisition policies. Um, uh, Bree is also the uh, one of the highest ranking transgender service members in the military and is the highest ranking transgender service member in the Department of the Air Force. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, you've been instrumental, as mentioned, in the stand-up of the Space Force. And now you're working to develop these policies and processes that are really going to help the new Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for space acquisition and integration get things moving. So how is that going? It's going really well. It's an amazing opportunity to be part of something where we can help set the process that allows us to remain ahead of our adversaries in space. What we really want to do is be able to make fast and accurate decisions so that there is never a day without space that our joint force depends on so badly. We are seeing right now in the UCOM AOR the importance of our allies and our partners and really what integrated deterrence means and what it, what it looks like, what it can and should look like. Um, given your time working security cooperation activities in Iraq, what did that teach you about the importance of our partners and our allies? Well, it taught me a lot about the interdependence we have, that we can't do anything without them, they can't do anything without us, and that we need to build those trusting relationships ahead of time. We can't build the relationships we need in this world on the day a conflict starts. We need to work those now and build strong allies and partners all around the world. Um, you are an inspiration to many, right? Uh, you are breaking barriers, and um, it's important, though, for us, I think, for everyone to understand kind of what motivates you, right? What keeps you, what inspires you, what keeps you motivated? You know, what really keeps me motivated is the people that are going to come after us. Some people have called me a trailblazer in some of the things that I do, and that's something I really embrace, because what that means is that it's not about me. It's about the fact that the road behind me is now paved, and the generation coming after us has an easier chance to make it to where I've made it, to make it where so many others have made it, but then they've got the time and the energy to go further. So if we can set the conditions where the folks after us get to do even greater things, I'm thrilled. Absolutely. You know, Secretary Kendall says one team, one fight. And when it comes to ensuring everybody courageous enough to serve our country can do so to their full potential, that's exactly what I think that motto certainly um, um, uh, engenders as well. So thank you for spending a little bit of time with us. Uh, thank you all for, for tuning in. And again, happy Women's History Month.